After a long, warm, dry spell, we're seeing some changes today. In fact, parts of the viewing area got some rain this morning. There's some showers. Some of those uh, moving through Rochester, at least in parts of the city, we've had showers and even saw a couple sprinkles uh, an hour ago here in northwest Rochester. And uh, it's been interesting. We've had some uh, filtered sunshine, but interesting coloring in the sky. This is from near Grand Meadow. Watch the clouds bubbling up, though, as the line of storms came into the area early this morning from the west. This is time lapse from our Lewis Dodato camera near Grand Meadow. Temperatures now with filtered sunshine in low 80s looking for mid 80s and maybe another dose of rain right now the showers that are out there are fizzling away look like the showers northwest of us dying certainly by the end of the hour they will be completely off the map the clouds will be thinning out and with that extra sunshine we'll tack on a few more degrees looking at the possibility of redevelopment as the storm system and its cold front draw closer to the area uh, the front will not actually move through to, uh, this week we're going to have the warmth building in ahead of it uh, we're going to also see increasing humidity and increasing rain chances off and on uh, during the week anyway severe with threat pretty small uh, level one out of five for the storm prediction center. The primary threat is hail It's north and west of Rochester, Twin Cities, Mankato, Fairmont uh, It's uh, closer to home here in the Med City. We could see uh, storms just northwest of here toward uh, West Concord up to Red Wing, but fairly low severe weather risk. Looks like we may be grazed by some thunderstorms. Maybe a couple of strong winds. That is a possibility, though. Five to nine o'clock, the primary timing of the strongest activity. Most of it really ramps up during the evening commute, uh, tapering off shortly after sunset tonight and done by midnight. Not a lot of rain, but if you get caught in a brief downpour, you might see half inch and something like that in some of those storms uh, this evening, but nothing extremely widespread. 81 right now in Rochester at the airport, Dodge Center 82, Mason City 85, and it's 85 in La Crosse. So certainly a warm day. Dew point approaching 60, not muggy yet, but noticeably more humid than the as has been the case in, in recent days or has it as it has been in recent days because certainly uh, that's going to be building north with the south winds transported that moisture laden air into the area south winds 15 miles per hour prime in the atmosphere for additional rain chances in the coming days 81 rochester des moines 82 72 in international falls so it's summer up there they've surpassed the 70 degree mark uh dew points Noticeably more humid, not extreme, obviously, but 60 in uh, Sioux Falls, 67 in Kansas City. That's a little more humid, but we won't, we won't quite get there. But we're looking at isolated storms starting around 4 or 5 o'clock, really spreading into the evening time frame. 85, the high temperature still well into the 70s until after sunset tonight. And temperatures overnight in the 60s, not the 50s, where we've been many nights in recent memory, or even 40s. Uh, we're going to be warmer overall, nights and days, uh, moving forward for at least the next 7 or 8 days. Future track, here's that line of thunderstorms erupting from the west around 4 o'clock, spreading across the map into the evening time frame, tapering off just before midnight. Uh, tomorrow, a straight shower is possible in the morning. Also, a redeveloping isolated storm in the afternoon, but very hit or miss uh, in the area. This computer model the current outlook doesn't give us a lot, but I do think there's at least a threat of these little pop-up thunderstorms. And the same deal on Thursday. More widespread storms may develop late Friday. Uh, the weekend looking very iffy with those rain chances. If totals uh, in the way of rainfall through Thursday, Half inch or less at this point, but if you get caught in the brief downpour, maybe a little more in a few of those storms. Temperatures today in mid 80s across the map with the chance of late afternoon thunderstorms. South winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Tomorrow still mid 80s and maybe a slightly smaller chance of isolated storms in the area. Albert Lee 84, 85 in Charles City. And those rain chances uh, all across the map, not really high end uh, in most cases. We're looking at very hit or miss, uh, nebulous uh, thunderstorm risk uh, here of very sparse activity in some cases. 80s in the coming days uh, above average. Typically, it'd be in the mid 70s heading into the, the first week of June, but we're going to be above that for a while. 85 today, isolated storms later on, partly sunny. South winds around 10 miles per hour, maybe a little higher at times. 63 tonight, evening thunderstorms are certainly done by midnight, though. And then tomorrow, isolated storms, slight chance in the morning. Better chance maybe late in the afternoon of something anyway in the area. 85 tomorrow is uh, off and on thunderstorm chances for the next few days, all the way through Monday of next week before you see maybe a pattern shift where you dry out for a few days. But at least the threat of rain there uh, in our area through Monday. Yeah, and uh, it's going to be a little toasty too. It is definitely going to be good pool weather as long as you're not in, in the vicinity of a thunderstorm. <laughs> That's right. I know your, your slip and slide is always on standby. It is. Thank you, Ted. <laughs> there are some